All right, we're jumping straight to it with no time to waste. For those who don't know, airdrops are, you know, let's get you real. Basically, free money that people are looking for from crypto projects or other. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's crypto. It's about crypto projects that you can use either tokens or NFTs that can be sold to make money. That's what airdrops are. And we're going to go hunting for them. The great treasure hunt, the end of 2021. So here's a list of what we'll be going over today for part one. I'm going to have this down in description sec in all of these in the description section for you to look at. None of this is financial advice, medical advice or anything as such in any shape, form or fashion. Ever advice, all entertainment, illustrative purposes. Some of these I am in, most of these, if probably not all, uh, uh, others just showing for um, that it came across. There are going to be more that I haven't. So if your favorite is not on here, it's not an exhaustive list. So let's get into it. The first three here are going to be ways that you can look for your own airdrops as you go forward in this. And we'll come back to this and kind of describe as we're doing it how to use them in conjunction with each other to kill two birds or several birds with one stone. So let's go into it here. This is DeFi Llama. I am specifically on the airdrop tab here. You can go through various ones. We're not going to spend a lot of time going through this. This is going to be just the purpose of this video is to lead you in a direction to start moving on this path. You're going to be able to build up. I'll very briefly just say things, but not go through. You can click on them and um, I'll show that quickly. You can click on something here like TerraSwap and find get the uh, official link or double check the links versus links you, that I leave. Don't trust nothing. We talk about that here a lot. If you're new here, you get that. Don't trust nothing. Next is Coin Market Cap. Here we're in the airdrop tab, where you can look to see what airdrops are coming out here. You have participated, number of winners, total airdrop amount ends in a day six. You can see here is more lotteries that you're getting in, NFTs or coins that you're trying to get in on. So go ahead, throw your hat in the ring for these airdrops here, ended ones. Coin Market Cap. Now Coin Market Cal is different from Coin Market Cap, and Google even asks like, "Do you really want to go there?" Because it seems like it's trying to steal from this other one but so you go to here to, what i did was go here to coin market cow categories airdrop search and then here you can start to go through and see what airdrops and um what things exist here for you to get involved in and different uh icon different um Chain Stellar here, Fetch AI, which just I think was added to Coinbase the other day. So now going back here. Now Arbitrum, Optimistic, and Zsync are all layer two solutions for Ethereum. I'm not gonna have time to go through everything. I'm trying to just do this, give you an information dump so you can go look this up on your own. But all three potentially may have their own coins associated with them. So Got Arb, and I'm not going to connect my wallet and go through any of that stuff. So Arbitrum, you should come here on Arbitrum. You can deposit money to specifically to Arbitrum um, through the bridge to an Arbitrum wallet. This is the bridge. They have a wallet as well. And then on Arbitrum, I go to like Uniswap, make some swaps, do a liquidity pair. You just want to do some work on her. I have a... Um, Z2 Ohm, I think they're about to rebrand, change your name again. They call themselves like RB Finance on Discord. Uh, just do some work on Arbitrum to where you, you know, you're, you can, and like a lot of this, I'm just gonna give my little brief ideas, but you gotta do some more research of what you think may work. They may have, and that's another thing, beginning of all this, they may have done snapshots on this, all of this stuff already. So take all this with a grain of salt. But hey, if not, maybe, let's go. Uh, optimistic, same thing here. You can deposit some money to Optimistic, take a week to get back. Arbitrum is something a different. I'll come back to that in a second where you use two different things. But Arbitrum, deposit, the Uniswap, uh, liquidity pair, you know, coming do like $10 liquidity pairs or just small amounts uh, or swaps. 
I'm going to jump forward. Well, not do. Okay. So Z sync, same difference here, um, but they're not quite connected. Arbitrum and Optimistic are connected to a lot of the other chains, which I'll show in a second, but not show, but explain in a second. But Z sync is kind of its own. So I'll do its little ecosystem by itself and then come back to the other ones. So with um, um, Z sync, you know, it's a lot you can do here, but connect your wallet, then you'll be able to, I talked about this in um, other ones, and, and go look this up, but you'll be able to get some test tokens and also put real money on here, make an NFT, um, and um, have a, their, a Uniswap version on here with test tokens you can use. You don't even have to tweet it out. Just say you're going to tweet and then come back and they have, they, you know, they, they're giving it to you on the honor system. Uh, use the test tokens, play around with their Uniswap function, uh, function with your wallet, your MetaMask wallet, then um, they also have ZigZag, which doesn't is another one which doesn't have its own token yet. So it's another one on our list here, ZigZag from Unisync. So Unisync here, you have, um, I'm sorry, ZK Sync. I have the wallet, the Uni ZK Sync to use, and then also ZigZag. And ZigZag is a um a dex a decentralized exchange on zsync and you can use real money here on the main net that you've deposited um, um sorry bridged over to the wallet or they have a test net where you can request some money and use as well so boom zsync and zigzag use them together to get airdrop hopefully for both of them uh, next is Hot Protocol. Hot Protocol allows you to bridge between Ethereum, Polygon, Optimistic, Arbitrum, Avalanche, different networks. So you can use that to even bridge some money to like from Ethereum if you have it. Most people have started on Ethereum. Ethereum to like Optimistic and then bridge it over to Arbitrum. And, you know, that way you're not even spending money to bridge to Optimistic and Arbitrum. You can only do it once instead of the high gas fees on Ethereum because it's cheaper from either or to send that way or if you can send money to you know bypass ethereum completely send it to avalanche and then send it over to but you need a little bit of ethereum to to it for gas fees so you're going to need to send some ethereum in some way but you can send the rest of it once you got the ethereum over there send avalanche turn it to tether and then send it over to both of them and use it as which so hop can have you hop around between all the different ones Next, we have Zapper, Zerion, and D Bank. I believe I speak that. I miss this is the first time I'm saying this. I misquote a lot of things. I mispronounce a lot of things. Don't trust nothing no one says. If you didn't understand that from the beginning, Zapper, Zerion, and D Bank are all like tracking. Now, these tracking because they have uh, the wallet address I have for the wallet in here already in here. But so I think we got Zapper first and Zapper here tracks the wallet, this wallet that it has here. You can see I'm going to have Ethereum, some grab stake on for people who've watched the experiments that we're doing here. Know about this wallet. Um, which is, uh, this is, I think, uh, Arbitrum, Ethereum. Uh, optimistic USDC. It shows you this is on Avalanche. What network is on? Phantom, Matic. Okay, so it shows my my vote. I got my Clima, Memo, Spa, Z Two Row, um, the Snowbank, which has gone down tremendously. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into that right now. But they have quests you can do. So you do these quests. You earn points, and you earn these what they call votes off chain votes so you earn these votes so 90 votes 300 so i have 765 pending votes this may be their token that they're going to uh, drop eventually so and they, all you do is hook your wallet up to it and, it and it tells you all the stuff about your um i'm not sure how much will it give me they have an exchange here so i went here and i did this i did an exchange i added liquidity in there um and i'm going to earn interest i'm going to um deposit something to earn interest in here so zapper uh zirian yeah zirian 
Same thing, portfolio. They also got like a history, show you what you've done. Um, they also have pools and swaps. So recommend doing, you know, small amounts in here. And even like going back here to Zapper, I believe you can even switch to chain that I, you know, I think that, it, yeah, I was able to come here and I think I did it on like Polygon, so it was cheaper. So I didn't do it on Ethereum, spent a bunch of money on Polygon, or you could do it on Avalanche or Phantom or Binance Smart Chain and do the swaps or do the pools. So that is basically no fees and you can do small amounts of money. Same here for Zerion for their uh, swap and pools. But their pools, they're, they're doing more um, curve finance, sushi swap, uni swap. So with that, um, I'm, now I'm wondering, like, what is it? Go back to my dashboard. What about those pools I have? Claimable networks, protocols. That's what the protocols are in. That's sweet. Oh, okay. Here's the pools I'm here. Down here, liquidity pools. So it shows you. So this app is just cool just to use, period. <laughs> Baseline. Uh, Zerion. Use that. And D-Bank. D-Bank is also pretty nice. These are all the, the chains that it supports. You can see here. Um, if you, once you have assets in them, they'll light up. So Moon River, Kronos, Boba, CeeLo. And they go through everything in your wallet, your state. So, but you know, all of these, like I said, do not have their own coins yet. And that's the thing that if they create their own coins for whatever reason, possibly using their platform, you get an airdrop. So. Those are those three across DeFi Serio protocol. Just trying to remember ahead where we're going at with it. So across helps you bridge from Arbitrum back to Ethereum very quickly. Instead of they tell you like it takes seven days, they can do it in less than I think like an hour or so. And it's, um, so it's much quicker. You can bring it from Arbitrum now to the Ethereum mainnet. So. And they don't have a token yet and get a, get involved early. So you put some money on Arbitrum, you move it around a little bit, maybe you put it on an Optimistic, move it over to Arbitrum, move it off of Arbitrum back to Ethereum. But you need to spend to like 0.1 ETH. So it's so about 400 bucks. Some of these things cost money. So as so I go through with anything that costs specifically high, I'll say, hey, oh, okay, this costs money. So across costs money. I mean, all these things to move around, you know, cause some cryptocurrencies. You're not here. You're not going to have just, you know, scare money, don't make money. So you got to spend a little bit. But DeFi Saver, um, we're not going to go to the app right now, but you connect this and it's just basically a centralized place to go into various DeFi projects from either lending, borrowing, liquidity pools. Um, only thing they don't have is rebase tokens, which that probably come in the future. So, but we're already in rebase tokens. So this is like DeFi 1.0. A lot of it's Ethereum, so this costs money. To create the smart wallet for them costs money because you create a smart wallet, it's your contract to deal with their system and all of the DeFi system. So, costs money is Ethereum. Yield protocol joy fix rates on Ethereum also costs money as well. You're borrowing and lending on Ethereum which we know costs money. But, you know, if you got about, because the gas fees I'm saying alone are just about 150 bucks. One other one will come up later is at least about 200 for one I'll say later. So at least 150. So if you want to just put in something just to have interactivity, but you're willing to spend that 150. Because if it was like gas fees a dollar, so this wouldn't be nothing I'd be telling you about. Like, oh yeah, go do this, go do that. Now, well, I don't tell you to do nothing because none of this is financial advice. This is for you to do it yourself, but this does cost a little bit of money. I mean, and it's not, they could have already taken a snapshot. So like I said, we don't know 100%. So if it was 100%, I'd say, you know, this is what we knew 100. Um, moving on. Sea Bridge, OpenSea, all right. 
Sea bridge, we discussed before, it is able to bridge between a different, you know, like optimistic to phantom and different protocols with different, uh, sorry, different chains with different um, cryptocurrencies. So using that, they don't have a, um, a, a drop yet. They may get one. And this is not just me saying that, like, go here, DeFi Llama. Like I said, here you got DeFi Swap. We're going to talk about Sarah Swap a little bit. Um, some of these we'll talk about later. Hot Protocol. We'll come to this in a second. Fractional Art with C Bridge, Yield uh, Protocol. So, people think OpenSea may have one. So, Buy, 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 sell something. Don't spend much. Use Polygon or something. Salon art, same thing. People think they may drop one at some point. Buy, sell. Don't spend much. If you're just doing it, just, you know, in a game, trying to see what drops can come your way out here. Fractional art, same thing. Don't spend much. Maybe get a part of something that you like. Doge or something of those. Argent wallet is a phone-based wallet that costs almost $200 to start this smart contract and it's DeFi so then not only is that then to do anything is going to cost about a hundred and some bucks because it's on Ethereum not to hey look Ethereum is Ethereum it's one of the big dogs that will be around so but know what you're dealing with MetaMask people think MetaMask is going to have one at one point I want to have this in about under 10 minutes I was crazy Phantom Wallet, same thing with MetaMask. People think it may have its own coin at one point. Terra Station, same thing. Now, Phantom is for Solana, and Terra is for Terra. Terra Station is for the Terra Network, which Luna's Luna Terra. Uh, Terra Swap on the Terra Network doesn't have its own token, and here you can see it's. Number four, I don't think I don't think this ranked in any particular order or anything. And then this is one that definitely can't have a snapshot yet because it doesn't exist yet. This is that build. We got to be thinking everyone dog Cardano. Cardano is going to have a dog career. It'll be around in five years. Sunday and they barely have any of these decentralized exchanges, or any of these things yet on this protocol. So people are going to make rebase tokens. People are going to do everything that you see on the Ethereum uh, blockchain, they're going to reproduce in some shape, form, or fashion, and innovate on Cardano. So we got to be ready. We got to be ready to strike early. Sunday Swap is going to be a decentralized train on Cardano. It's not out yet. Probably end of this month. So you can join this Discord, Twitter, and keep an eye on things. With that, we'll come with part two soon. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.